So here comes the air. And I don't usually use air when I put tripan in. I don't find that it's necessary, though other folks will um, emphasize that it works well for them. Most important part is to make sure that the capsule is completely covered with tripan so that you don't have any margins that you can't detect. Um, there's going to be a blush of air bubbles. I think those come from the paracentesis from a video that I saw at Asker some years ago. Um, and then next we are going to get um, the viscoelastic product and we will um, flatten the surface of the lens. What you should notice is that the surface of the lens flattens. See it bowing posteriorly there? Um, and that's how you know that the capsule or the lens bag itself is not very tight. Um, a tight bag will be prone to the Argentinian flag syndrome and um, when I use the viscoelastic I'm really paying attention to see whether it seems tight there and if it's tight you would prepare for it by evacuating some of the fluid maybe with a you know a, a needle beforehand anyway now we've got our cystitome and we are going to gently score slash cut the surface of the the capsule and you can see no note comes out and that helps to confirm the notion that there's not a lot of tension in there and also we're seeing that the capsule is not extending in a flag phenomenon so um, either the pressure was perfectly counterbalanced by the viscoelastic or it just wasn't under tension uh, during these steps you will see that i have the 0.12 still through the paracentesis um, i do that almost all my cases just to keep the front of things nice and stable uh, during these parts um, because we're doing almost all these things that are topical and I don't want them moving around. Um, a lens that needs tripan blue will sometimes have a capsule that is very friable um, or brittle maybe is a better term and so a small tug on the capsule often will result in a big tear so be careful with that. We just move that little capsular fragment that was amputated out of the way so we could see and then we'll turn it all the way around here and see it nicely separate. And that's pretty much how um, a good example of the tripan blue capsular staining can be done.